Welcome, today we're going to do a bit of a walkthrough video on the Pro Fisher range of kayaks. All three models of Pro Fisher basically have the same standard features. So what we've done is we've chosen a 575 and to show you the purpose of every fitting and every part on the kayak and what it's used for. Just so it's a bit of a clearer understanding of where everything goes and why it fits in it the way it does. As with the, the pictures that you can find on our website, I'll run through each of the fittings and the parts and explain to you what they are and what they're used for. So we start at the front of the kayak and this is a, a bung or a drain hole. The front drain hole is used to drain, drain the hull of the kayak, so the complete kayak itself. You always do get a little bit of water in here somehow, so that, that will drain some water. The second is the back drain or back bung plug. This drain hole drains the fish hatch only. So your fish hatch basically runs from directly in front of this bung to behind the seat. Okay, So it's quite a large internal hatch, which we'll run through just now. So two drain bungs, one to drain the kayak, one to drain the hatch. Okay, next is a molded carry handle, simple to explain. You used to carry or lift the kayak. Always use your handle to lift the kayak and not this. This rubber is for placing your paddle. Okay, so you have the carry handle. Next we have your, what we call paddle rubber or protective rubber. When you're fishing or, or sitting around and you need to place your, your paddle somewhere, you place your paddle underneath the elastic. The elastic holds the paddle form, firm and the rubber stops the kayak from being scratched. So the rubber is to protect the kayak from scratching. The elastic is, a, is to hold your paddle in place. Okay, as we get further down the kayak, we get to now the, the cockpit or seating area and I'll show you all the features. First of all, we have the pedal system. Okay? The pedal system is completely adjustable. As you can see, there's another video on our, on, our, on our YouTube channel where it shows you how to adjust the pedal so it can suit any uh, angler of any height. Basically, you adjust the pedals for your perfect comfort so that you feel comfortable in the kayak. The elastic here allows you to easily adjust it and obviously to keep your paddles up. So that's simple. Paddles, pedals to adjust, to, to adjust for your comfort and the elastic all connected for one. This obviously operates your rudder system at the back of the kayak. Simple, you push left, you go left, push right, you go right. So that's pretty, pretty simple and pretty standard. Then we have a, a drag handle. Okay. So this handle here, we, what often we do here is um, we lift the kayak like this to drag. Okay, so when you're walking down to the water, you literally drag the kayak with you. It just makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to try and pick it up. You can literally drag the kayak with this handle. Here we have our hat straps, which keeps the hatch nice and closed, firmly closed. Obviously, the firmer you close the hatch, the better the seal you get from water going inside. So there's a video explaining how these hatch straps work. But for now, I'm just showing you the purpose of them. Obviously, just to keep the lid firmly closed. Underneath the lid, we have the large central fish hatch, okay? This fish hatch has a, ro a built-in rod chute which allows you to put your fishing rods in. Your fishing rods go all the way to the front and behind at the back of it, we have a little stainless steel bar here and you can actually place the butts of your rod on the bar. That keeps your rods up high up in the hatch, away from the, you know, sitting on the bottom. We have Velcro loops here inside the hatch that you can put around the rods to stop your rods from sliding forward or from moving. So, so the bar will secure your rods from from being on the bottom, the Velcro straps will stop your rods from sliding forward or sliding backwards. It just keeps everything nice and firmly secure inside your hatch. The, the lid on the Pro Fisher is uh, manufactured from carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber hatch lid. This allows us to make it a little bit lighter. You know, being the Pro Fisher range, obviously we try to make it as light as possible. So we make a carbon fiber lid, nice and light and strong, and that adds to the, to the, the fish hatch itself. On the front, we place a uh, a strip which we call a splash strip. Okay, the idea of the concept is this if you're launching through some surf and you get a wave on the front deck, the water will hit the splash strip and move around instead of forcing itself underneath the hatch lid. It, the splash strip basically disperses the water, it once again reduces the amount of water or the opportunity to, for water to get into your hatch itself. So, as you're saying, every little part of this sort of makes the, the functionality of the kayak work better. The next item we have in the cockpit area is a side handle. This handle can be used for lifting or carrying, whether it be carrying off your car or carrying down somewhere. Basically what we do is we use the handle here and the drag handle. We lift the kayak and we carry it down to the water. You know, the kayak's also light enough to hold it here and use the handle. So yeah, you've got to just basically to carry the kayak and move it down if you're on your own. Of course, it is better to get someone to help you do the work, but unfortunately enough, you use the handles. On the opposite to the handle is a little loop. Okay, this loop here. Basically, we use it for a variety of things. We use it for clipping on a backrest. So if you want a backrest for extra comfort, you can use the loop to clip on the one side and the handle on the other side. 
Um, if you have a live bait tube or anything basically you need to clip on the kayak, it just gives you an, another spot to clip something on here. Some people use their paddle leash to clip on there, some people use their live bait tube. As I said, it's a nice loop to have the ability to be able to clip something on. Next, behind the cockpit area, we have the rod holders. Okay, on the Pro Fisher range, there are four rod holders. Two directly behind your seat, which are at a, a, a much steeper angle. These we, we usually use for our trawling rods, so you place the rods in there and you'll have your trawling rods out the back. Next to them is a little plastic saddle. What we use for the plastic saddle is to secure a rod leash. Okay? You can also use the back of a backrest to clip on here. So the saddle basically is a place to secure either your rod leash, which connects to the rod, or your backrest as well. So it's a nice place to secure things so that things don't fall off or disappear. The other two rod holders we have on the Pro Fisher are the upright rod holders. So for extra rods, like an extra spinning rod, or a rod for jigging, or a rod for popping or something, you can keep the rods there. If you're a man who likes like many fishing rods, you've got four spots to keep your rods. So it's just an extra spot with a little plastic saddle as, a, as well to secure your rods as well in case something gets knocked off, you must always tie your rods on. Between the four rod holders, we have the large rear storage hatch. Okay, This hatch is a fairly large entrance. Okay, Inside is a round, a round large hatch. Beware, it's not always 100% dry. We do call it a dry hatch, but somehow the nature of a fishing kayak or a kayak, water some seems to get, out, get in there and it's, somehow it does, but it does. Um, so we always put the valuable things in a waterproof pouch or anything, but this is a great storage area for the extra tackle, clothing, lures, lure bags, just basically what I use it for is all sorts of stuff that I need that I don't put inside the hatch as well. So it's easy access with a, with a, with a rear hatch, keep a whole lot of stuff in your back. So you have two storage spots, your rear hatch and like I said, your fish hatch. Some people use your fish hatch as well for a lot of storage, like under the seat area because the hatch runs to the seat, you can put a bait box, you can put extra, you know, extra gaff, you can put a, a few pouches, extra pouches in there. So you have ample storage to put everything. Um, you, you will see in some kayaks people tend to put like a crate in the back and they put everything in the back. The beauty of these kayaks is you've got a, everything can be stored inside the kayak safely. Last few items on the kayak is a small recessed area on the back with some stretch cord. This guy's used for storing a couple of extra items. Maybe you want to put your life jacket or your PFD underneath here. While you're kayaking, you can put it underneath here. You know, uh, some guys use a little box or a little anything really. It's just a little bit of extra storage space available in the kayak. Behind that is your carbon fiber, also nice and lightweight carbon fiber cover to cover the access to your rudder system. So basically, all this does is show you where the rudder system is all connected. If you ever have to check it, this is where you'd access it through. So it's a cover just for access. And then last is the rear carry handle, you know, the last handle to use to carry. As I said, you get a mate to help you carry, he carries the back handle, you carry the front handle, and that allows you to carry the kayak comfortably down to the water's edge. Another item in the cockpit area, in the, in the, in the bottom of your foot wells, is a little drain hole, okay, which we call a self-drainer. Okay, it's a hole from the foot well straight through the kayak with a very neat little cap on top of it. Okay? What this does is when you're moving forward slowly, the water will drain out the foot well. So, if you're sitting and you're fishing and you want to keep your feet dry, you just do a little bit of paddling and slowly the water will drain out of the footwells. It keeps your footwells nice and dry. In, the, in some of those places where it can be very cold, um, your water obviously, will, your feet won't get freezing because the water will be draining out. Of course, it also makes the kayak lighter when you're covering further distances because there's no water stored in your footwell area. It's actually draining out while you're kayaking. Okay, so to sum, sum it up, basically, as I mentioned, all the features on the Pro Fishers are standard across the Pro Fisher range. So, your Pro Fisher 475, your Pro Fisher 525, and your Pro Fisher 575 have the same features that I have just run through. Everything is the same, just the kayak is slightly different. So, the different performance characteristics of the kayaks between the three, you know, one being smaller, one being the medium size, one being the bigger size, that's irrelevant to the conversation here. Basically, what we're touching on now is all your fittings and what the purpose of your fittings are. So there we go. You now know what everything on a kayak is for and how everything has been designed specifically for a purpose and a reason, which makes your kayaking journey a lot more enjoyable.